Right, so hey guys, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about some good practices that we can use while creating a Flask website. <clears throat> so we're going to be using the concept of parents um, and child classes to pretty much create a layout template that's going to be used by all the files on our website. So this might not make sense right now, but as we code, it will make a lot of sense. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open Visual Studio Code, and then I'm going to open up my, my website folder in here, which is already open, which pretty much stores all the files that are needed by my website to run smoothly. Cool. <clears throat> what I want to do next is I'm going to go ahead and go through the few things that are going on at the moment. So my app.py file is pretty much the main file that my server runs as soon as the server is started and the app, dot app underscore blueprint file stores pretty much all the routes and has a little um, temporary temporary um, data structure like an array which stores different products in it now if you guys haven't already watched the first three or uh, first four tutorials actually if you haven't watched those I recommend go ahead and watching those first as they're going to be linked in the description because these tutorials are linked together so it will make a lot more sense if you watch those first. Now if you only want to learn about how to use inheritance of a um, parent and child class and using a block concept then you can carry on watching. <clears throat> now you may say what do I mean by using a parent and child um, concept and using blocks. So what, what you want to do is in coding, usually the rule of thumb is if in our templates folder, let's open all the files, right? So in coding, the rule of thumb usually is if something is repeating, you need to make sure that it is um, not repeated and just extracted from one place and placed here. So for example, this code, doc type, HTML, head, body, body, and end HTML. This code is repeating in every file. So as you see, this code is very repetitive. So what we could do instead is in our templates folder, we could create a new file. So I'm going to go in my templates folder right here, create a new file, and I'm going to call this layout.html. Now in our layout.html, <clears throat> we can program this as a parent class, which all our child classes, which uh, means other files such as about, contact, and index.html would use or inherit. So in this um, HTML document, we could include the structure which is needed by all files which means we need to include the doc type, HTML, head, body, and nhtml. And in the other files, we can just include the content for the specific page. Now this can be done using um, a, something that is known as a block. So what you want to do in your layout.html page is you want to code up the structure that is going to be used by all the files. So I'm going to do doc type. And I'm going to start an HTML opening tag and then in here I'm going to do a head tag and then I'm going to do a body tag. Now this is the structure that pretty much all our files are going to have and since it is in common we don't want it repeating that's why we're going to use only this layout.html file to inherit this into the other files that we have going. So to do this um, what we want to know is that where the content is going to be replaced so obviously in a head tag, each um, each of these files is pretty much going to have a title, right? So in a head tag, we want to have a section for a title. So we're going to create a block which will be replaced by the value of the title by each individual HTML document that inherits this. So I'm going to do curly braces and then um, to add a code block, I'm going to do percentage signs. And in the middle, I'm going to say block because we are creating a block. And then I'm going to call this um, block title because this block is going to be used for title. Now we need to also specify when this block is going to end. So I'm going to end block and block. And then I'm going to specify which um, <clears throat> block I'm ending, which is title block that I'm ending right here. So what this means is this block called title can be replaced with any data we need from our child class. Now let me explain how that will work in a second. So since we have our title block ready, let's go ahead and create a block in our body tag as well since all of the data from our respective files would be different. That's why we need a block here so that, so that this can be replaced. So block content, let's call this because it's going to be the content of the website. And I'm going to paste that again and I'm going to do block end, I mean end block content. So now that that's done, 
this um, layout.html file is pretty much complete. Now what we want to do to inherit these details into our other files is import it into our other files. So we can do this by going on to our other file or so I'm going to start with um, my let's just start with about.html. So let's start with about.html and I'm going to start by going ahead and deleting all the stuff that is already in the layout.html. So I've got the basic information already in my layout.html so I don't really need it repeating now. Let's get rid of that and now this is technically all the information I really need for this to be working. Now at the start of the document on line 1 what you want to do is specify where your um, parent class is. So create a code block and then specify where your code block is by typing in extends which means it's going to extend its parent class and then type in the name of the parent class which is for me layout html now since they're in the same directory they should uh, have no problems finding the layout.html file cool so this line right here specifies what the parent class is so it's going to this um, code right here is going to go ahead in this file and pretty much inherit all of this so it's going to take all of this and chuck it in here now you might say we want to place this title in the head section and obviously we want to paste the other content inside the body section so that's why we added blocks. So the block title would be replaced by any um, block title content in here. And the block content would be replaced by any block content in here. So I'll show you what I mean. Let me quickly go ahead and add a code block. And I'm going to type in block, oops, block title, and then percentage sign. And then obviously this is all that's going to be stored in our title or in the head section. So end block title. So what I'm saying right here is the title right here is going to be taken from here and then it's going to be placed in our head section because our title is between these head tags. So it's going to take anything that's placed between these title block tags um, and then chuck all the information in here. Cool. So now we can do the same for our body as well. So for the body content, we create a different um, code block. So we're going to do, we're going to use block. Um, content because that already exists and it's in our body tags and then we need to end it wherever the content ends so I'm gonna go ahead and do end block for content cool now if you did everything correctly this the website on the about.html page should function just like before but without this information in there because it's already inheriting these details from our layout.html so it's um, inheriting all its basic information from the layout.html. Cool, so I'm gonna pretty much just indent this properly, save this up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and open up our Flask server. So CMD, um, let me zoom in here a bit for you guys to um, see easily. So CD desktop, what's wrong with my typing today? CD desktop and let's say my website because that's where my Flask app is. Now we'll do um, set Flask debug equals one because I want it to be able to debug and not just crash and we'll do flask run cool now I'm gonna go ahead and open up a chrome window so I can show you guys what my website looks like so localhost 5000 and we have a connection as you see right here we have a pretty basic store going so a concept of a store and in the last tutorial we also learned about how to use conditionals to pretty much show relevant information on specific items so I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my about page by typing in about and we have an error. It says unexpected, um, unexpected end. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Maybe we've got an extra, extra something. Uh, seems to be correct. Let's go ahead and see the layout. Seems to be correct as well. Let's go into, I was complaining about the app.blueprint file. Oh, I see. Um, wait, no, actually. To about, about. Cool. So, seems to be fine. Um, end block title. Let me see. And that is in which file? That is in layout.html. Let's go back to our layout.html. Okay, so we're missing a percentage sign here. My bad and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my server is running while well, it is and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page um, you good 
let's just make sure the server is running again. Okay, and there we go. So as you see right here, our code is working fine. And that's because it's inheriting all the details from its template. So the top section says about as a title and the body section has the information needed too. So we can inspect to confirm this because in our head tag, as you see, we have about.html and in our body tag, we pretty much have all the content with, that we need it to have. So what we want to do next is pretty much use this for use this single template or this layout.html in all of our files. We've only used it in about.html so far. So I'm going to go ahead in my contact page, get rid of this. Um, get rid of this, oops, not all of that, get rid of this, this, this and this and then in here we're going to replace that with um, our first code block which is going to be extends layout.html so that it knows where its parent class is then we're going to grab the title so that we can chuck the title in there let's go ahead and indent this then we can just copy this line, paste it down here and we're going to do end block then we're going to go ahead and copy the block for the content, paste it down here. We can just indent this too. And then we're going to do another end block for our content. Cool. So let's test that our contact page is working now as well. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to contact. And as you see, it is working just fine. So if I inspect, it's pretty much inheriting all the basic information about the layout from the layout.html and the rest of the information is being gathered from the relevant contact.html page. Now let's go ahead and finish off the last files just so that the entire website is uniform and just working fine. So it's the last page index.html. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and delete the stuff that I don't need. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Um, and let's get rid of this. Let's go ahead and copy some stuff. So extends layout.html to specify once again where to get its parents class from or parent class from. Um, block title is going to be here. Then we're going to copy this and paste it down here and say end block. And we're going to cut this in, paste it in here. Bish bash bush. Um, we're going to indent this properly so that it looks nice. We're going to copy the block for content, paste it right here. Then we're going to uh, copy this and create an end block as well. So end block for the content. Now let me check that my index.html page is working fine. And as you see right here, it is working just fine. And this page was a bit more complex because it had a loop and images as well. So even with a loop and images and a bit more complex code than the other pages, this is working just fine. So now this is good practice because if I wanted to make a change, so for example, if I wanted to add some bootstrap code to this, I do not have to go to the head section in my individual files. So I don't have to go into every template file that I have. I can go ahead in my layout.html and add the bootstrap in my layout.html. And then it will pretty much import this um, uh, code for the bootstrap that I've got in here to link bootstrap and then it will put it in pretty much all the child files that it has which is pretty much all the templates apart from layout.html so that's the good practice as well as being able to change this main template as at any given time and then being able to have all those changes applied to all the child files without having to go to them individually so that's it for today's tutorial guys, hope you have enjoyed and learned something new. If you guys have enjoyed the tutorial, please make sure to drop a rating on it, like, comment, subscribe and share because that really helps out. If you guys would like to donate to the channel dire directly, you can do so by signing up as a patron using the Patreon link in the description. Or you can simply purchase a super chat emoji or a highlighted message when this video premieres. If you guys would like to check out my socials or join the Discord channel for a bit of fun, you can do that using the links in the description. And guys, I will see your beautiful faces in the next tutorial. Peace.